नमस्ते आप देख रहे हैं वागा ब्रदर्स और ये है राजस्थान इंडिया द लैंड ऑफ किंग्स चलो All right, you guys, well, it's day one here in India. It's my first full day in India, and this place is incredible, to say the least. Um, we're gonna be kicking off this tour of Rajasthan here in Jaipur, and what do we have in store today, bro? So we're gonna be going on a week-long tour of Rajasthan. Rajasthan is one of the most colorful states in India. Rajasthan basically means land of the Rajas or land of the kings, because there's a ton of different princely states or little kingdoms that make up this entire state. So as you may or may not know, I used to live in India nine years ago now, and I came through Rajasthan when I finished my job. Hey, this is me. Um, I want to show you my hotel here in Udaipur, where I am paying uh, $2.50 a night. So check this out. I went to a lot of the places we're going to go and to the legendary Pushkar Camel Festival. So I'm super stoked to show this place to you and to all of you guys. We're going to be making an entire series about Rajasthan, the most colorful state in India. We'll be visiting the three main cities in this series, starting here in Jaipur, the pink city, Udaipur, the white city, and Jodhpur, the blue city. And we'll be wrapping everything up at the legendary Pushkar Camel Festival. Wait, I've had wait. Camel Festival? Yeah, so Pushkar Camel Festival is going to be a holy ceremony also a camel trading ceremony it's pretty damn interesting it's gonna be a feast for the eyes so stay tuned for all of that over this trip we'll be shooting two virtual reality films so be prepared for those one is going to be the grand tour of rajasthan and the other is going to be the pushkar camel fair in 360 degrees we're joined by carlos mason the talented cinematographer who's coming with us to peru to south korea and who helped us on east of eden we're also joined by celine tricar she is a vr specialist who will be helping us with the two vr films we're starting off here at the amer fort in Jaipur, so there's tons to explore. Let's get started. Let's go. Chalo. We are posted up on the wall, uh, just trying to get a nice establishing shot, but what a crazy place. There's so much happening. Um, there's literally a procession of elephants carrying people up the ramparts and into the fortress. Making new friends, Marco? Making new friends. You girls from Rajasthan? No, but Gujarat. Ah, Gujarati, okay. How do you say cheese in Hindi? Cheese, <laughs> cheese <Yeah>. paneer. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently it's a thing here in India. People just like to take selfies with with you. If you're if you're from the West, then you're just a good good person to take a selfie with. Thank you. See Celine? Good job. top of Jai Gar Fort. Exactly, Gar means fort and Jai is named after Jai Singh who was one of the Maharajas here. So a Maharaja is a Hindi word which means great king and Rajasthan, land of the kings because 
like this place, there's a dozen or so kingdoms that were all ruled independently for hundreds of years. Nowadays, it's a great spot to kind of get some elevation and really take in the landscape, but it's incredible. There's these walls that are just hugging the hills, almost like a little miniature version of the Great Wall of China. An incredible, incredible place to kind of get your bearings for your first day in, uh, in Russia. Well, it's true what you say about the Great Wall of China, because these walls, like the Great Wall of China, were built to keep out invading armies. You know, the Greeks came through here, Genghis Khan came through here, uh, and the Mughals, which was a Muslim empire from Central Asia, they all passed through here and they were resisted uh, on these very walls. Pretty incredible place. So much history. Honestly, trying to, trying to encapsulate the history of this place in a YouTube video is a challenge. We're going to do our best, so stay with us as we continue to explore Rajasthan. Pretty interesting piece of information here. So back in the day when this was inhabited by the Rajas, uh, when there were bad people, when they did something wrong, they would be taken here. And this little pit behind me used to be full of water. And in that water, there were crocodiles. So in a very James Bond villain-esque move, they would throw the people who've been condemned to death into the crocodile pond. They didn't have tunas with laser beams but they had crocodiles. So this is extremely well-designed fortress. You can see like down here, these are for arrows. This right here is for burning hot oil. So you can pour it on anyone trying to climb up the fort. And then the big holes, those are for cannons, including the largest cannon on wheels in the world, which is just down here. So all of these fortresses, a lot of the, the buildings that we're gonna see across this series in Rajasthan were built in like the 14 or 1500s. So this was a time when Europe was really just emerging from the dark ages, but here in India, these civilizations were reaching heights that were renowned around the world. So you know how you appreciate the world's largest cannon? Oh. Just look at those rims. The spinning, the spinning, the spinning. They're not spinning though. They're not spinning, but this thing, this thing is huge. Apparently when they, they shot it, it destroyed a town that it was aimed at and the guy who shot it was so blasted back by the reverberations, they fell off the back to his death. That is what we call blowback. Celine, you have a, an audience. Yeah, I know. I've never been that famous in my life. I know. It's awesome, isn't it? I don't want to ever leave India. <laughs> Okay, well, there's been a minor car accident. Our driver accidentally uh, smashed into a little wall. We are on foot in the town of Ahmed. This is like old, used to be old Jaipur, but now it's just kind of uh, on the outskirts. It's like in the suburbs, really. But we're passing all sorts of temples and uh, kind of wandering these little back streets. So this is pretty awesome. Right now we are at a step well and most of India is like tropical or subtropical but up here in Rajasthan we're on the edge of the Thar Desert or the Great Indian Desert. It's um, 200,000 square kilometers and uh, in order to basically conserve the water that they get during the monsoon they built these large step wells. So at the bottom down there is water and uh, these were built you know a couple hundred years ago but awesome place for photography and it looks like some, you know, surreal kind of modern art. Yeah, 
So it's my first day back in India and I'm falling in love all over again. You have to love this country. It's just got so much happening. There's people, there's smells, there's sounds. It never stops. And it's such a productive country. There's trees growing everywhere. There's monkeys, there's animals and cows wandering through the streets. It's a lot to take in on your first day, but if you can slow down and appreciate it, you can really, really fall in love with this place as I have as well. Okay, well we've made it into the center of Jaipur. The madness continues as always here in India. Um, but we are gonna go try to get one last VR shot for the day. And that is at a place called the Halamahal, which is just really fun to say. So basically, although it is chaotic, Jaipur is India's first planned city. It was built in the 1700s when they moved the city down here. And it's all set out in a grid formation. Each little rectangle or uh, block is a different sort of bazaar. So it's just a giant marketplace. is awesome. So one of the best things about India is masala chai. Chai is a Hindi word for tea and it's super awesome here. It's very sweet, it's spiced, and it's served right here on the street. And you know what Mark? It gives a whole new meaning to a dirty chai. Oh dude. Because take a look at the place behind us. It's as authentic as it can get. It's chai and it's dirty and we're drinking it. It's delicious. So the guy who sells is called a chai wala and here chai comes uh, five rupees which is couple of cents. It's amazing. So there's been a slight change of plans. The Halamakhal, the light is really not that good on it right now. So we're gonna go head back into the city palace. Um, and there's a little bit better light in there. We can go get some B-roll on the Odyssey and then uh, take some photos. The elephant owner just got off and is literally grabbing a drink over here. But this big beautiful elephant. Hello. Life road. Call. Okay, well, it's official. India is the coolest country on earth. So this behind us is the Hawa Mahal. Uh, Mahal means palace in Hindi, and this translates to palace of the wind. So, Back in the day when the city was built, this was the women's section of the city, and this area right here was designed so that women could look out onto the street but not be seen. The Maharaja at that time were Hindu, but in that time Hindus also, Hindu women had to be covered from public view, so this was a way of doing that. It was painted pink, which is a symbol of hospitality here in honor of the Prince of Wales, uh, who was coming here to play polo with the Maharaja back in the day. That was a wild day. First day in India. Madness. Beautiful, beautiful madness. And I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm, I have to say, I'm kind of jealous. My first day in India, two weeks after graduating college, 
was the craziest experience of my life. I think that it's like there's no amount of culture shock that amounts to a, your first day in India. It's uncomparable. I was a bit jealous that you're going through that today because I remember how much it changed me. I think that it's cliche to say that going to India changed your life, but this is just the first day of a whole multiple week trip. I was really happy to have you as my India guide, bro, and just kind of being able to navigate um, the, the chaos that unfolds on the outside of this little sanctuary, our hotel. But uh, it's been an incredible day and I really cannot wait for more exploration tomorrow, so. Yeah, so in the meantime, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to Bag Brothers, yeah. turn on notifications. Ding. In the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Namaste.